Hello and welcome to my channel where we may be dazed but we are not confused. We are going to do a seed time and harvest reading for the sign of Virgo. So the purpose of this reading is to take a look at some type of decision or action that you may have taken in the past and see what the effect of that would be either in the present or the near future. Um, this is just one of many seeds that you may have planted because we are constantly planting seeds. We are constantly pulling up harvest. We are also constantly pulling things up from the ground, you know, in order to make space for new things to grow. So this may or may not resonate for you. Um, and also keep in mind that as you're listening to this, that nothing is set in stone and that you can make changes in your behavior if, if this allows you to get like a mirror view of yourself and kind of see where you are, you know, making decisions or how you might be moving and how you can kind of make shifts or judgments or adjustments to your judgment in order to change your outcomes in your life because you're in control of your life and um, not everything, but the things that we can control, um, it's nice to be able to get some insight if we can't see it for ourselves, okay? It's hard to see it when you're in it. So what I have for you in the past is that you made a decision to receive some money from someplace, um, or you might have received a gift of money or someone gave it to you or planted a seed for you in that way and gave it to you, um, and you chose to accept it. All right, and so there might have been some type of situation, and we'll look into this deeper, um, or maybe some type of agreement or something that you had to do in order to receive this money. All right, you were given money for something, and in the future, or the result of this, or effect of this, is that you have this energy of of like a, like a theft or stealing energy. I've got the seven of swords, so this could be because this is swords here. Um, it could be that it's not necessarily the money itself that's trying to steal, but it could be an energy of thoughts or, wor or using words. You could be, you might come into people who are going to be attracted to whatever this money is that you received or that you chose to accept that are going to come in and maybe use their words or their logic or whatever to try to steal to steal this from you basically and the way that they're coming to you it's not going to be coming in an energy of um, oh I'm here to steal this money they're gonna bring you um, they're gonna come with a lot of mistruths or mis misguidings um, and unclear very unclear information that maybe you're missing pieces of, okay? So they might give you some and then leave some lives behind. Um, and it can be very confusing for you. And under the deck, I have the world in reverse. So I feel like you were coming into, you know, maybe there was a completion or a cycle or something that you were ending and you received something and then somebody's trying to come in and maybe create a sense of not being able to get, maybe get this completion, get the world, you know, that, you might have felt like you were receiving when you were getting this money because I feel like it's a large amount you know with the ace of pentacles <clears throat> this to me is like you're receiving a you know a large sum from some outside source from you all right I feel like it's the universe is arranging things so that you can have this thing and it must be a large amount because you have this energy of people being attracted to it and coming in without using a lot of lying and a lot of manipulation to try to play with you to, to perhaps take this from you or get you to somehow give it away. Um, it could be as simple as like investments. Maybe people coming in with, you know, bad investments or, oh, I've got this idea for this or I've got this idea for that. Can you give me the money for this? And you know, on and on. And the end result is if you try to, you know, help these people, it could end up in you not getting a completion and being able to move into a new cycle in your life that this was arranged for you to have. This money was meant to come to you to give you the resources you needed to move forward into a new cycle in your life. It was the energy, it was the power, the fuel to get you into that space. All right, so let's clarify this. With a few cards to see, you know, just got that off the right away. But we're going to use a bunch of oracle decks as well. Yes, so uh -huh. so yeah, so I feel like you have here, 
shuffle, shuffle a few more because a couple fell out. But the one card that did fall out was authority and diplomacy. It's the king card. So, you know, you are, I felt like you definitely received a large sum of money and it's really moved your social status up, your, your socioeconomic status up a lot. And so people are viewing you with this king energy. And I feel like what you're doing is that you are acting, you're choosing to act with authority and diplomacy. Um, which means that you're trying to make decisions and be diplomatic with people now. Like this is the energy that you moved into as a result of receiving these funds. Um, it could even be like lottery winnings. I'm picking up just you. I feel like someone received a large amount of money and it just, it's one of those things where it instantly shifted you. And, you know, unfortunately people do look at people that have a lot of money suddenly all of a sudden as you know you get this respect that you never got before so whereas people might have looked at you before as kind of being like eh, somebody that's you know you're there but I don't have to do any extra to be in your presence now you know because you have this money people are treating you differently okay so yeah so I feel like into the future moving into the future I felt people are going to try to let their intentions be known that um, they're trying to come in and they want to or they're I feel like maybe it's that they're not fully letting all of their intentions be known clearly they're coming in because you have this money you have this resource that they want to now have a part of or somehow tie themselves into but they may not be very clear about why and I think at the root of it, it's something that we just kind of know is the elephant in the room, but it's not really socially acceptable to just say it. It's like, you have money. I need money. People need money to survive. Um, you have a lot of it. I'm coming in. Here's my spiel. Here's my, what, my pitch I'm coming to you with you about to try to finagle some of it out of you. You know, you're holding on to all of this. I need you to give me some. All right. That's what I'm saying now. So let's clarify a little bit more with the Sacred Traveler deck. Okay, so, you know, in the past, I feel like one of the reasons why you received this money was because you opened up to your spiritual source. And um, I won't say that, because I mean, there's lots of people who are open up to the spiritual source and they don't receive this amount of money. So I'm not saying that you, you somehow are more worthy than other people too but I do feel like you got into alignment with what you needed to on your path and it just so happens that for you this was this is your thing because it moved you into a status it shifted you around in your social situation and it's a place you're supposed to be at um, I also feel like you decided that um, when you decided to turn to your spiritual source for your well-being for your financial well-being for your overall well-being this is what happened for you. Um, but because this happened, and because, like I said, that doesn't usually happen for most people, you know, and just by the laws, the way things are, it can't happen. Every, not everyone can have this happen because if it did, then, you know, there'd be no value to money. There always has to have, with the way it's set up, there has to be people who don't have. Um, and so this is going to cause like a rumbling in your environment where people are, you know, maybe some storms in the background and what I'm picking up is that this is not um, it's not negativity in the sense of there's something wrong with you having it but it's more like the energy and the static that's created from a place of lack for people that don't have and the energy that that causes so it's like I see these lightning bolts coming down from these storm clouds you know and the storm clouds is just this this agitated energy that comes from water which water could be emotional and it's just kind of like rubbing and it's the friction that's being caused. And then you get these cracks of lightning and you know, with the lightning, a lot of times when we associate that with the tower card, it's like these moments of insights, these, these flashes of, um, insight in movement. And I feel like it's important for you. You know, I, I feel like you, you, you might be picking this up already. I feel like for whoever this is, you might be seeing this on the horizon and you're kind of looking out. There's a maiden, she's in her palace and, you know, beautiful um, area and she's looking out. You can see the storms in the, in the distance. And I feel like this is you picking up the energy of people saying, oh, wow, so-and-so has this and this money. Well, you know, 
um, this person needed to have this or this person had to get this done and this and that and that and that and the friction of it with you being almost like in this ivory tower um, removed from it and being elevated to this place this almost kingship space because of this these this sum of money that you received the friction out in the town because the storm is taking place over this town that's out in the distance okay and you can see how it's you know oh one of one of a person that's like me or that comes from my family or that came from my town has all of this so um, definitely important to use your judgment in dealing with the people who come to you because that's the energy that it's coming from okay this isn't to say that you can't help people but it's certainly to say that um, just to be mindful of the be mindful and diplomatic you know this with this king card use your authority and be diplomatic about it you know so in the past um, you know I feel like there was you wanted to maybe you felt like I honestly feel like you might have felt like giving up maybe you were just really exhausted really tired of doing whatever it was maybe you were having to work really hard and really really um, go through it like a lot of people do and maybe this is the energy of the people that you were with people they were very much dealing with you know hard knock situations and you were too and you but you decided I'm not gonna give up I don't want to rest I'm gonna keep working I'm going to you know keep on trying to to do what I need to do and when you pull back and you said you know what I'm going to put this in the hands of the universe and just allow myself to flow I feel like you had this sense of knowing that there was something energetically due to you in this way and um, you know sometimes the way this works is you know this I'm also picking up like ancestry like you could have ancestors or some sort of something that maybe they lost money or something that didn't come through and this had been building and so it's hitting you energetically to you know hit you back with this energy in the form of this currency and you know <clears throat> because you are you decided to you know allow this to come in and not give up whereas maybe I feel like maybe other people around you might have given up and maybe they they I won't say that they weren't working as hard but, but maybe they just weren't as dedicated to something as you are because in the future I'm saying that you are going to be made aware of some of the people that you might have thought were loyal friends or that were part of your group that really aren't so I feel like you might have two groups you might have people that are gonna come to you and now that you have this thing they're gonna come and ask for it. and then you also have people who are going to have problems with you and like they're gonna you know they're gonna be hating on you because you have this thing and you're going to see that they really kind of weren't your friends. It was almost like a misery loves company. Like you were only able to commune with them because you were struggling. Everybody was struggling. And because everybody was struggling with this thing, then that um, was the bond. But now that you're not, you'll see that, oh, this isn't, these aren't my loyal friends. These people are not really loyal. They're not really about me. They were about the struggle and the fact that we were all in the same mode prior to this okay so let's let's clarify with the mystic wisdom get some more info okay. yeah um, I'm also picking up here with these cards that you might have made a choice the choice that you made whatever it was if it was purchasing a lottery ticket if it was um, agreeing for a new job or you decided to invest in something and you received a lot back you made the right choice in the past is what I'm saying you made the right choice and even with all this stuff that's coming up and the shifting around of your life and your social circles and just really your entire life the way that you are living because it's like this almost instant elevation you did the right thing and moving into the future the consequence of this I think is that it's going to be important to try to find people who can mentor you with this new place that you're coming into because I have the legends card it says learn from those who inspire you so like if you know of anybody else who maybe suddenly had a large winnings or they had um, a huge increase in money or it could just be someone who's just in that 
this new tax bracket that you're in, find people, find out like, well, what do they do? Do they have accountants? How do they do their taxes? How do they invest? Or do they spend a lot of money on this? What kind of places do they live in? What do they do? Just so you can kind of have an idea because if you're, I feel like coming out of where you were with what you have, it's really kind of setting you up. It could set you up to be an energy of, you know, people that get something and then they lose it really, really quickly. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, just because you don't know, you know, it's just, it's too new and there's no place for the energy to hit. It's like this influx of energy with no place to go. So it just kind of swirls and swirls and swirls and creates like a lot of chaos. And then it just kind of sweeps its way on and keeps going. But if you want to hold on to this and really have long lasting, um, like legacy changes in your life and in your, in your family's lives, the part of your family that you deem that you would like to have this kind of impact on, then it would be important to find mentors and people who can truly offer you advice from experience and not because they need anything from you, you know, because I feel like you have a lot of people coming around you that are going to try to offer you advice or whatever, come to you with stuff because they need something from you. And that could, it's not always a bad thing because you could be an even exchange. It could also, it could also be a beautiful way of infusing um, much needed help and energy into your community or the people around you but with this seven of swords because it's coming from such a place of lack i feel like it's important to find people who can mentor and help you to do this while also maintaining this um quite frankly opportunity that you have to create some changes in your life and the life of the people directly associated with you that have like close family or or just quite plenty of people that you deem family because not all family is blood you know it could be friends that you had that were always there for you that were really really there for you um because with this loyal heart in reverse i feel like you're you're picking up that there's a lot of people that really weren't that down for you like they were putting on so i'm pulling a feather message as well to clarify and so in the past, one of the seeds that you sowed was that you were using your discernment. I feel like this is spiritual discernment and your personal fortitude. So that's that strength and keeping going to achieve your goals and find a new rhythm. And boy, did you, you definitely, this worked for you. Um, this is the woodpecker card. So I'm almost, you know, I'm getting like this peck, peck, peck sound like this. I feel like you were just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, you know, chipping away at something and it hit for you it worked for you so um so yeah and so now the card that you have that you're reaping here is the crow it says universal laws and truths are now being revealed use this energy to create your reality so you know you basically have the universe on your side or you're in the flow I'll say that because I don't want it to seem like oh well this person what does that mean the universe is not on my side the universe doesn't really take sides it's more like are you in the flow of what's happening and there is a balance that's naturally there and there's lots of pieces to that and it's about finding your spot in that and getting in the flow with that because even if it's not you receiving a large sum of money that elevates you to this social status it could be something else that it will have the same energetic impact for you as being elevated to the status and getting money other things will work out for you and it's the same it's going to be fair and balanced you're going to get the same energetic thing if you're not looking on a surface material and I feel like this person is looking at it from a spiritual and because they were doing that and because that just so happened to be their path and they lined up with that it allowed them to this is what it is and they were able to come into it because for every one of the people that would do this there's those who wouldn't be able to align and they miss it you know it's like a river and you get with the flow and you can go with it or you you know you don't so let's sum this up with the abundance angel. All right. Okay, so in the past, you made a decision to pay yourself first. I feel like you were really, you tried to take a look at the long game, the end picture of what it was that you were doing. And you said, you know what, I'm going to try to energetically and, and spiritually engage in self-care. 
in the form of putting my energy towards things that are going to actually serve me in the long term. And this, I feel like, is part of the energy of why this worked out for you. Um, and moving forward, this, because you were able to put yourself first and you were able to hit so hard, this is opening up a door for you to find healthy, supportive partnerships that you can come into and have mutual benefit with people as a result. Okay. Cause what this, I feel like this is kind of a warning to make sure that you find partnerships and people and mentors that are going to be aligned with you and not be coming from a, like a very lack or stealing manipulative place because you can have these wonderful, helpful partnerships and go even further. So I feel like you decided to kind of put yourself first and you made a decision to receive something or to accept something that was going to help you and it was an alignment for you. And so the result of that, what you're reaping in is partnerships with other people who also have this thing. And then you can multiply and be even more fruitful and bring in even more harvest. But just make sure that whoever you're using this harvest that you received and whatever seed that you get from that, be mindful of who you're um, investing in or who you're allowing to attach to you so that you can get an even greater harvest and it'll multiply and ideally it'll put you in an even better position to truly have some impact on the people around you without losing everything that you just got okay so that's what I have for you Virgo um, I hope this reading was hope helpful and hopeful for you um, and thank you for joining me on this channel where we may be days but we are not confused and until the next reading bye bye